Well, here we are at the last of our five-minute masterclasses on confidence, and today I'm going to be looking at the voice and how you can use your voice to create an impression of confidence. The three things that I'm going to be looking at today are pace, pitch, and volume. So first of all, the pace of your voice, the pace at which you speak. Why is that important? Well, I mentioned last time when we were looking at body language that confident people take space and time. When it comes to the way in which you speak, confident people take the time in which they need. If you take too much time, it can sound as though you're, well, it sounds a bit laboured, doesn't it? It sounds as though you're having to think on your feet and not very quickly at that. It's not creating a very good impression. Alternatively, um, if you're speaking really, really quickly, it could be because you're very excited about what you're talking about. Yes, it could be that you're very excited about your subject area, or it could be that you're nervous. I've worked with a number of people who have gone onto the stage and given a presentation and spoken far too quickly because the main thing on their mind was getting off the stage as quickly as they possibly could, and it came across as nervousness. So here's the thing, how quickly do you speak? Is it creating an impression of confidence? Are you taking the time that you need? Or are you coming across as nervous in some way? How do you know how you sound? Well, here's the thing, it will be necessary to record yourself on a dictaphone or on some, uh, some computer technology or whatever it happens to be. Record yourself and listen to yourself. You will be surprised because you won't sound like you think you sound when, when you're actually speaking. Ask friends and family, what do they think? Do you speak too quickly? Take their advice as well. If you do speak quickly, make a conscious decision to slow it down just a little bit. It will feel really strange to you at first because your habit might be to speak a little bit more quickly. To you, it will feel like you're talking like this, but to your audience, it won't come across like that. It will sound to your audience as though you are communicating clearly and confidently, and that is what you want. So that's the pace of your voice. The second thing is with regard to the pitch of your voice, which is very important. Do you have a high tone voice or a lower tone voice? Let me just give you an example. I'm going to say the same thing in two different ways. Uh, well, we've got some very serious news for you this afternoon and it's going to have a big impact on everything that we do. Or well, we've got some very serious news to give you this afternoon, and it's going to have a big impact on everything that we do. Which are you most likely to take seriously? I would guess the second one. Now, the reason that is, is that lower pitches of voice tend to have more of an impression of authority, of gravitas, of confidence. Now, there is a double-edged sword here because there are times when having a higher pitched uh, tone of voice is exceptionally useful, but it's a question of balance. I've worked with a number of ladies, for example, who work in male-dominated environments and find that um, because they have a higher pitched voice, when they're in a meeting, they literally cannot be heard. There's a lot of talk going on down here, blah, 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 and they're trying to come in up there. They literally cannot be heard. Conversely, I've worked with men who, when they're nervous, they get trapped in some sort of rambling monotone that's a very low tone of voice, and it actually becomes really boring to listen to them, so people, people switch off, and that's a result of their nervousness as well. So, what's the pitch of your voice? One of the useful things that you can do here to perhaps vary the pitch of your voice and make a conscious choice about how you are delivering your message is to sing. I'm standing here by a piano, you probably can't see it, but trust me, I am. One of the things that you can do, even if you don't have a piano, is sing, sing in the shower. Focus on what's the highest note that you can comfortably sing. For me, it's la, la, somewhere about there. I can go eh, a little bit higher, but actually it's starting to hurt my throat. La, if I can sing it, then I could talk in that tone of voice if I wanted to. I could change the pitch of my voice to be much higher. Now, I can't think of a situation at the moment where I might want to do that, but it might well come in handy. For men, I'm not suggesting you have some ridiculous falsetto, but there might be circumstances in which you want to lighten the tone of your voice. 
Conversely, think about what's the lowest tone, or the lowest note that you can sing. La, for me, it's about there. Again, I can go a bit lower, but it's a bit uncomfortable. So I know that I can talk down there, and if I have a serious message to give, I can lower the tone of my voice to sound serious, to sound confident, to sound as though I have gravitas. Again, it's a question of conscious thought. Listen to your voice, listen to your recording and think, what can I do in terms of pitching my voice a little bit lower down to create that impression of confidence and of gravitas and of authority? So the third thing that I wanted to briefly look at with regard to voice is volume. Um, quite often, if people speak quietly, it can create the impression that they're a bit nervous, that they're not very confident, they don't want to appear to come across too loudly. Now, obviously, I'm not talking about bellowing over the top of everybody else, but it is necessary to have enough volume in your voice so that you can be heard and you can be heard clearly and come across as confident. The thing that is going to help you there is your breathing. What tends to happen when we get nervous is that we take, we take shallow breaths, we kind of snatch a quick breath in and uh, we, can only, we can only probably get our half a sentence out with that, um, uh, with that half a breath in and because it's going right down our throats, our throats are getting dry, so we start to swallow nervously, um, so we speed up because we just want to um, get it over and done with, again, this is not contributing to an impression of confidence. Take a deeper breath than the one that you think you need. The sort of breath in that I'm talking about is one that goes right to your, into your chest, into your lungs. <coughs> it's the sort of breath that you take in just before you cough, right into your lungs. A deeper breath will give you the air in your lungs that you need to get an appropriate volume in your voice and also to maintain the level of your voice until you get to the end of a sentence. Breathing can be quite complicated, and it's one of those things where well, we all breathe. It's a habit. We all do it, or we'd be dead. Again, it's a question of consciously breathing in a slightly different way in order to make sure that you have enough volume in your voice to appear confident. So once again, three things to think about. What's the pace at which you speak? Do you need to slow it down a little bit to create an impression of confidence? What's the pitch of your voice? Do you need to bring that down a little bit? to create that impression of confidence. And what about the volume? Take a deeper breath in so you can get the right volume out to say it loud and proud.